Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com, and welcome to our daily vlog. Um, I have been a busy, busy bee today. Um, I have some changes to make in the dining room to get set up for a uh, paid program that I'm going to be doing. It will first be part of a bundle, and then, of course, for those of you that don't get the bundle and still want it, I will have it for sale. I have not decided on a price yet. Um, I want to see what the finished product is like and the length of the finished product. Um, but what it's going to be is a video on preserving herbs for winter use. And I'm not just going to show one way to do this. I'm going to show a number of ways to do this. So that way, if you don't want to use one method, you can use another, or maybe you can try two or three because, you know, everybody has a different preferred method. Some people like to just dehydrate their herbs. Some people like to freeze them, uh, you know, sometimes straight, sometimes in oil or butter or water or, you know, a lot of it depends on what you're going to use the herbs for after, you know, you put them in the freezer because... If you're going to use them for, say, an infused drink, then of course you'd want to freeze them in water or some type of liquid that would go with the drink you're going to make. If you're just going to use them for cooking, then butter or oil will certainly absorb those oils a lot better. So, anyway, stay tuned for details for that. I am part of the BC stack this year, um, for those of you that don't know. And I have a link to buy that over on experimentalhomesteader.com. It is only $27, and you're getting over $9,000 worth of free product, including my book. Um, I have to go look at the exact title. Isn't that horrible? Um, it's Ways to Make Money Through Amazon. And what I talk about in the book, which is normally a $27 value on its own, um, is self-publishing MTurk, Merch by Amazon, and How to Profit from Product Reviews. So, lots of good content in there, um, but there's lots of other products in the stack that I'm super excited about as well. So, like I said, if you're interested, head on over to uh, experimentalhomesteader.com. You'll see um, there's a big bar across the top of the page. And there's also a link in the sidebar and at the end of every article. So uh, I'm definitely promoting it. And I do need to tell you that I do get an affiliate commission if you buy anything through my link. So um, I've been busy putting up articles today um, over on SherryAnnRichardson.com. I have moved an article, uh, Three Easy Ways to Make Money Blogging, and I uh, republished it, so it was originally on Experimental Homesteader, and I'm just trying to clear stuff out and put it on the site that it makes more sense on. So, um, if you're interested in learning how to make some money blogging, go check out these three ways that I recommend. Um, again, that's on SherryAnnRichardson.com. Over on ExoticGardening.com, I have four perennial plants that are easy to care for. And the plants that I picked are super, super easy to care for. They are drought resistant once they are established. And they bloom their little heads off. So, um, definitely plants to go check out. And they are very, very pollinator friendly. So definitely ones you want in your garden even if you're an experienced gardener and lastly um, on experimental homesteader I updated um, how to make swerve with cream and so we have updated photos and we have it in a format that is really easy to print or pen or you know whatever you want to do um, but it's updated and it's on there for you guys. And so definitely I hope you will go check that out. Uh, be sure to leave some comments when you come by because I do watch for the comments and get really excited when someone leaves me one. Um, 
so I think that's about it for me today. I have absolutely no idea what time Jeff is going to get off. I know he's looking to take a little bit of time off over the next couple of weeks, but like he said, he doesn't know if it's going to be approved or not, so he's just uh, waiting to see, and I know sometimes they don't approve it until the day before, which makes it real, real hard to make any type of plans. So that's it for me today. Please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic night. I'll see you again tomorrow with another daily vlog.